Welcome everyone, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Jeff Barton. I'm the Energy and Asset Services Manager with LAS, and uh, I'll be your host today uh, in making sure things run smoothly. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our session today. We'll be hearing from Johnson Controls. He, they represent one of the vendors under the facility security equipment systems and services category of the Canoe Procurement Group. Uh, Canoe was launched two and a half years ago to help municipalities save time and money on the goods and services they use every day. And this uses this program uses the concept of group purchasing and economy of scale. So we have 220, sorry, 202 contracts across 48 categories covering everything from paper clips to fire trucks and canoe is national in Canada. Um, and there are over 2,500 organizations who purchase through canoe, um, which makes it one of the largest buying groups in this, uh, in, in this nation. So it's a, uh, it's pretty exciting program. And I'm going to introduce you today to uh, our key speaker who is Tom Staves. He's the program manager for cooperative contracts with Johnson Controls. Uh, and Johnson Controls supplies security systems, surveillance intercoms, uh, closed camera televisions, IP cameras, wireless networks, basically any high tech solution you need, uh, Johnson Controls will be able to provide it. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to Tom and Tom, maybe you can tell us a bit about yourself and, and sure. tell us about Johnson Controls. Okay, great. Uh, hey, uh, welcome everyone and uh, thank you, Jeff. So uh, yeah, my name is uh, Tom Staves. I'm, I'm actually uh, not in Canada. I'm sitting here in uh, the lovely state of Maryland in the USA, but I do have some Canadian history. I was actually uh, living when I was born uh, in Niagara Falls, Canada and uh, that, that uh, and I have, uh, you know, quite a few relatives up there. So um, love the country and I can't wait for uh, the borders to be fully open so we can go back and forth very easily as we used to be able to do. Um, but a little history, I've been with, uh, with Johnson Controls for uh, 27 years. Um, started uh, um, in, in more on the fire and security side that we're, that we're gonna be talking about uh, today. And, uh, um, you know, uh, also got involved with, uh, you know, some of the, some of the United States federal government sales and things of that nature, uh, and been, but been really been spearheading the cooperative program for about 10 years. And um, we have folks uh, that, that uh, you'll be working with, obviously, locally, uh, as I'm going to show you uh, a little bit later on, uh, but from a program management point, right, um, you know, we've had great success with, with the back office and what we've done here in the States. And we're going to be utilizing those, those same tactics um, in, you know, with our program in, in Canada to make certain that, you know, that uh, the proposals are, are created accurately, uh, compliance, right? We're reporting all that kind of good stuff, um, which, is, which is very important, right? Uh, you can't have these programs without the compliance piece. So, um, but, uh, you know, we're excited uh, to be, um, uh, you know, really launching our program in, uh, in Canada. This is fairly new uh, for, uh, for Johnson Controls. Uh, you know, the award came within the last, uh, within the last year. Um, so uh, uh, it, took, it took quite a while to get everything um, at a point to where we're able to, to launch the program. And we are, uh, we're doing that here uh, today. Um, so, you know, just, just today a little bit, what, you know, complete overview really of, of uh, you know, of what you can see, Tyco Integrated Fire and Security, right? We are doing business as Johnson Controls, okay? But you will see some proposals that'll say Tyco Integrated Fire and Security on it, um, but they will have the Johnson Controls logo on it. Um, give you that overview, right? The, uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, you know the fire uh, side of the business as well, which is under this contract. 
um, some of our services that we're able to offer. And then, uh, you know, we'll do a, a, I've got a quick slide uh, that will kind of show you how our program is aligned with Canoe with our source well uh, contract vehicle. So you can see here, we go way back, right? Um, all the way back to 1881 uh, on the fire side uh, with, the, with the sprinkler systems. Uh, and then, uh, you know, 2001, you can see we were, we were bought by Tyco. And then in 2017, uh, we, you know, we were uh, acquired by Johnson Controls. And um, uh, we, we've been Johnson Controls ever since. And you know some of the some of the changes that have taken place are are um, are, are pretty significant, right? You'll see our branch offices where we have you know all you know uh, both HVAC and fire and security in one building. Others, you know, they're 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 still separate, um, but uh, there's been a lot of technology advancements that that we're that we're taking advantage of being under the larger Johnson Controls umbrella. So you can see here, just a quick snapshot, right? Um, we are a global entity, right? Uh, North America is is uh, is a subset of that, but you know um, everything from you know with the fire with the you know the firefighters from the from the clothing that they wear, the air packs, um, you know, oil and gas um, retailers, right? And then you can see we have in the in the government sector, um, you know, we're uh, protect a, a, a lot of the folks in the Fortune 500 and over, you know, 100 major stadiums, uh, you know, whether it be football, foosball, you, you baseball, you name it, right? We, we've got it all covered. So you can see large company, right? And, and um, you know, but we're, we're a large company, but we like to come across as being more of a smaller company, right, where we have our local branches, um, you know, in, in each one of the provinces with local reps that live in your communities. And, you know, they will be the ones that will be servicing you and providing any future quotes, estimates. Um, you know, uh, if you're looking for, you know, uh, consulting, right, to, you know, planning for five years down the road, potentially, what you're looking to accomplish with, you know, with a with a fire alarm system or with an upgrade to a security system, et cetera. Um, but you know, you can see we're all over all over the world. The you know some of the things that point out right, you know, almost 5,000 schools right across North America. Um, that's you know we're significant presence in in school districts, um, colleges, higher education, right. Um, so just a, a very large footprint. This gives you kind of like a, this is a great snapshot, right? Of as far as, you know, all the different services that we bring to the table under Johnson Controls. However, under this contract, right? We're gonna be focusing on, you know, the fire hazard protection, right? We've got, um, uh, you know, the security systems uh, right here. Uh, but you can see the, the, you know, the complete portfolio of everything that we bring to the table. But today we're just going to be talking about fire and security. So this is, you know, kind of like a, you know, a broad picture as far as, you know, the different, the different uh, solutions that we're able to bring to the table, right? And, you know, whether it's preventative maintenance and repair, we've got uh, monitoring services, right? We've, we have uh, ability to provide uh, both with phone lines, but also um, with cellular communication, right? And, and, and other means, uh, I think we're working on an opportunity uh, actually in the Manitoba province where, where they have uh, some very remote, um, you know, some, some remote buildings. Uh, so we're looking at different ways of being able to uh, monitor those outpost buildings. Um, we have the capabilities of doing remote diagnostics right, um, servicing and seeing what, you know, if it's, if it's a fire alarm control panel, you know, we could diagnose what's wrong with it remotely. Uh, there's some cloud-based services that, that, you know, that we offer integration, right, of, you know, all of the life safety systems within, within a building. 
um, mission critical uh, type control environments. Uh, we offer inspection and testing um, for you know, the fire alarm systems to, to meet the applicable occupancy codes for buildings. Um, we have nurse call systems for any healthcare organizations. Um, we offer 24-7 you know, you know, repair and maintenance uh, services. And uh, let me see, we go to the next slide here. So this gives you, I, I think, a little bit of um, you know, insight as far as all the different products, right, that we're able to, to carry, right? So from, these are factory direct, right? So these would be software house, um, you know, American Dynamics, Cantech, Exact, um, all of these different brands fall under the Jobs Controls Tyco umbrella, okay? And on the next slide, you can see this is where we're located. Right, so we have, you know, as I mentioned, we have uh, branch offices in in every province, um, and you know, even you know, if you're in British Columbia and you're in the north, there we have ways, of, you know, obviously of ability to to reach everyone. So um, don't hesitate regarding, you know, regardless of your location, um, we have a means of being able to service you. So you know, in there, there's a lot of different, you know, life safety vendors that are out there. You know, we definitely think that, um, you know, that we have, uh, you know, significant value adds that, that we bring to the table. Obviously, you know, you saw our history, right? We've been around a long time. Um, you know, we, we have, uh, you know, the factory trained technicians, right? Training is something that we focus on significantly. Uh, we'll get into safety in a little bit as well, but just, you know, significant amount of customers, um, you know, pure play fire and security company, right? So we can, you know, when it comes to life safety, right? We can, we can basically service and maintain your, your systems with, with one company instead of having, you know, multiple vendors within your facility, right? And as I mentioned, right, being under the Johnson Controls umbrella, right? We're, we definitely continue leading the innovation, right? And what we bring to the table um, with our, our, you know, our equipment being backwards compatible, right? Which means we can plug in a new, a new device on, you know, a 10 or 15 year old system and it's gonna operate just fine. And you could see, right? So as I mentioned, we have a, you know, really a total solutions approach, right? For installation, right? Where we're able to um, come to your facility, uh, listen to your needs and, and then provide a solution that, that, you know, that, that meets those needs. And obviously it must be, you know, compliant with all of the Canadian codes, um, but you could see everything from fire, sprinkler systems, suppression systems, right? And suppression systems, I would mean, you know, it could be uh, an energy and gas type of system for, let's say a, a server room, computer room, where we don't wanna put any sprinkler, uh, wet, anything wet in there, right? Uh, so we would use, um, you know, a, a gas type of application there. And we have uh, kitchen hood systems uh, would be another one for, you know, that would qualify under suppression. And then of course we've got, you know, the everything electronic security, right? So it's, it could be, you know, the intrusion, the access control, uh, video type of solutions. And service, service encompasses everything that, you know, if it's a product that we sell, we can service it. If it's a competitive fire alarm, let's say it's made by Notifier, Edwards, or, you know, one of the other brands that are out there. If, if it's inspection services, then we can inspect any of those, right? If um, the only time you get into problems with, uh, you know, a proprietary type of thing would be if there's programming involved, right? Uh, and that's that's more on the rarity side. Uh, so from a, a simple inspection standpoint, you know, we, we would be able to inspect 
virtually any system that's out there on the fire alarm side. And, you know, I, 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 got, I already told you a lot about the products that, that, you know, that we offer. And, you know, this just goes into, you know, us being, you know, more of a, a consultative, you know, consultative partner, right? We, we, we don't want to just sell you product and then walk away, right? I mean, we want to, we want to be the consultant that, that, that basically, you know, listens to your, your needs and then provides the correct solution to what, to what your needs are, right? And, you know, and we're, you can see it right up above, right on the top, needs analysis, right? Planning. Uh, we, you know, the design, the installation, project management, right? You know, we want to make certain that, you know, not only do you get, you know, so, you know, great technology, um, you know, a successful installation, but we want to make certain that it keeps on time, right? So, I mean, some of the stuff is mission critical, right? You have, maybe it's an opening of a building, for instance, and you need that life safety system up and running before that building um, is able to be occupied. Right. So, you know, and, and in today, right, today's world with supply chain management issues, right, that's 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 key. So we want to make certain that, you know, that's known up front, right, what what um, our delivery times are going to be, things of that nature. And that's all stuff that's going to be, you know, discussed, um, you know, before really a schedule of values is provided before with, with a proposal, right? So you're going to know up front um, and then we would, you know, coordinate with, with, with everything else, you know, the commissioning, right? That's done by a factory trained technician. Um, we offer, um, you know, we, we do offer uh, finances, um, financing for, you know, uh, different, um, different applications, uh, including government. Uh, and then, of course, I mentioned the, you know, the life safety services, which, you know, all in all, you know, that spits out at the bottom, the complete life safety solution that we're able to offer. And, you know, I got into it a little bit. This is a little bit more specific, right? So you've got, you know, under fire alarm, right? We've got fire detection uh, and mass notification, right? Uh, some of you may have gone to some venues where you see, you know, maybe it's convention center or something where you'll see a message board, right? That that will give you directions, right? And those message boards are great. Um, and in some cases they're, you know, they could be entertaining, right? And then, but if, if there is an emergency, they, they would transition over and provide, you know, notifications to the nearest exit, things of that nature. Um, sprinkler systems, right? So um, wanna make certain that, uh, you know, the, the buildings are, are safe in Canada, obviously, it's um, uh, you know it's in certain environments, right? The temperatures are are well below zero. Um, you know, we have special applications, dry systems, um, antifreeze loops, things of that nature, uh, to protect in the you know in cold colder environments. Uh, fire pumps, uh, foam systems, uh, and then as I mentioned, right on the suppression side, we have you know fire extinguishers. We've got that. You know the gas solutions, um, and then you know kitchen hood on the, you know the cooking systems. And then we have you know uh, you know fire pumps, right? So especially in the high rise applications, need to be able to get that water up to those floors. So we utilize obviously uh, you know fire pumps, hydrants, um, you know monitoring nozzles, uh, deluge systems depending on it, you know, if it's potentially, if it's a storage uh, warehouse, things of that nature. I mentioned the fire alarm systems. We've got the AFFF foam systems, high expansion foam for, you know, whether it's oil and gas um, types, or it, it could be potentially for, you know, for, for airports, refueling, uh, hangers, things of that nature. Uh, and then the, you know, the clean agent, dry chemical, um, We've got foam trailers. So basically, as you can see, right, from a system standpoint, really anything that you would need to protect, either protect occupancies, notification, uh, or protect property, right? We, we, have that, we have that capability. You know, so we, you know, the dedicated 
um, service and support, it's important, right? Not only, like I mentioned, you know, we don't want to just slap product and equipment into your buildings. We want to be able to, uh, you know, assist you with maintaining it, whether it's us or even training your personnel, right? So it, it doesn't have to be necessarily Johnson Controls that's going to be coming in there and, and doing the service. We have training that can be provided to facility uh, maintenance personnel uh, so that they could um, you know, either uh, be qualified to train to be, you know, to, to maintain the systems on themselves, or they can supplement uh, Johnson Controls when we're there providing service. Um, and as I, and I can see, right, it's 24, 24 7, 365, right? Now, um, you know, as I mentioned, we have sales reps that, that, that live throughout the provinces, uh, but, but there are locations, obviously where, you know, we're not gonna be able to get to, um, you know, within a very short period of time. But even in those cases, right, it's always a, a, a call to the technician. Um, and, you know, and, and that technician would basically be able to, you know, listen to the problem uh, and then, you know, and then, you know, be able to better be, be as best prepared to solve that problem in the first visit um, by, the information that they gather on the phone. Um, I mentioned there's remote diagnostics uh, equipment too, right? So in some of those areas where it is, you know, a little bit further, you know, remote, um, those are great applications to be able to make certain that the system can be kept up and running. Um, you know, we, we do the, you know, emergency service um, if, if, if needed. We've got the we stress, as I mentioned, right? One call, one, one call for service, but also one time we show up and we try to fix it, right? Where we don't have to go back for parts, things of that nature. So we're trying to uh, make certain that your system is back up and running as, uh, as quickly as possible. We have resource centers, right? Um, that, that basically uh, are on call. Right, so there are 30 technicians around the clock that are available to work potentially with uh, any maintenance, uh, you know, facility worker that's that's at these, you know, locations. Um, it's around the clock. It's 24/7, right? So they're able to, like I said, take a. Let's say if you're having a problem resetting a fire alarm panel, right? It could be a, a call to this group. And this group would walk that individual through it. Maybe it's a new employee. Maybe they forgot how to do it, right? Um, but we we would be able to assist them with uh, with the issue that they're having. This gets into a little bit more of the um, the reporting requirements, right? And to make certain that you know we're able to have all the details. So if it's, if it's a government building and you need to have that fire alarm system inspection uh, completed or a sprinkler system inspection completed, this is where, you know, we're able to, you know, provide, provide that, you know, historical reports. So if you're meeting with potentially an insurance uh, uh, adjuster at your facility for an, you know, for, for a review, you're able to provide all of these different um, uh, reports that are re literally at your at your fingertips, and uh, and there's training that's that that's that's available. Um, there's there's a lot that could be done uh, with this program. I'm not going to get too far in depth to it, uh, but this would be something that a local sales representative would be able to um, explain in more detail for your particular application. So we have a customer portal. Okay, where um, where you can basically have have a, a login, right? And it, it could be you can uh, you know it's it's very easy. You can have three or four or five people that that have uh, ability to use it, especially you know facility engineers, things of that nature, right? Where they're able to uh, create a service request, right? Um, they're able to see the you know view that service request. Has it been, obviously, is it acted on? Um, you know, was a technician dispatched? Uh, things of that nature. Um, you could see the service history for your facility. 
um, the invoice history, right? So the invoice history comes in comes in um, where, let's say, uh, for for any of you that have to audit invoices before you pay, right? This is a great way to be able to have um, ability to see that the service has actually been done before you pay that invoice, right? So it, it tracks all of all of that capability is right in there, right in the system. Uh, we've got you know the contact information that, that we list out, right? So if if any of your contact information changes, uh, employees get promoted, they move, um, you know that that can be updated there. And then as I mentioned, right, you could set up associate users where you know they can have limitations, right? If if you if you want one to be able to create a service request and then the other just to be able to review invoice history and service history um, to you know to pay you know potential in invoices then that they can have those limitations set. And then we have you know electronic inspection reports right where um, you know it, it, it captures the the inspection information, um, you know, electronic mobile device, uh, barcodes, right? Uh, and it all is focused around code compliance, right? We want to make certain that, you know, that your facilities are safe and that not only that, that your employees know that the facilities are safe. And then, of course, any visitors that you might have that comes into the building. Uh, it streamlines record keeping, right? Reduce risk. Um, you know, so we have a deficiency viewer. So if if there is a device, a smoke detector that's bad in, let's say, room, you know, 101B, it, you know, it would show up on that, right? And and uh, um, we're able to, you know, either change out that smoke detector on the spot, or you know, or have you know one one shift in. Uh, but it's a great way of 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 uh, knowing. Hey, what's working? What is a deficiency that was wrote up during that inspection? Uh, and it manages, you know, it manages the timing, right, of any any inspections that that are going to be coming up. Uh, and then it supports really all of the the different life safety systems and fire protection and even security systems that you would have in your in your buildings. And and it it can be, you know, it can be. Um, uh, what's the word I want to say? I mean, it, it can be customized, right, for for your specific facility, right, with what you're looking to accomplish. So, you know, I mean, we consider, as you, you heard me say earlier, right, I mean, we consider ourselves a partnership, right, um, and and we want to be be on that 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 road to, you know, from hey to finding out what your solutions are to 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 basically, you know, having and servicing your your facilities with whether it be you know products and retrofits, upgrades, or 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 servicing a 15 year old fire alarm system, right? Um, it, it doesn't matter, but you know we want to be there on that on that roadmap and and uh, you know and work with you as you know as time goes on as systems and technology evolves, we want to be able to, you know, at least inform you of those, you know, those, the latest updates to technology, you know, that it'll be your decision, obviously, right, if you, if you purchase those, but we just want to be able to be your partner and let you know, as far as some of the advancements that are out there, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately, in the, you know, here in the States, right, um, shooter detection, right, is one of those things where, you know, that technology has been, you know, it's been significant. We have whole cities that have deployed um, shooter detection technology that that allows police um, the ability to be on site, on scene quicker, and to the, you know, to the to the specific area of where the shots were fired, right. I mentioned mass notification, right? Um, we have that technology. Here's those light, you know, the uh, the message boards that I that I mentioned to you. Some, you know, I mean, it may be potentially a uh, you know a power plant or something like that where there would be you know outside speakers. Uh, but 
this whole capability, whether it's text messaging, uh, if it's a higher education, right? We, we have all of those uh, capabilities that we bring to um, uh, under this contract. So obviously, you know, we, you know, we quote, any quotes that, that we provide, right, are gonna be, they're gonna meet, you know, these guidelines, right? Whether it's United Laboratories of Canada, um, Accessible Canada Act, right? So that's, that's important. Um, you know, any of the local standards and guidelines, right? It could be, uh, you know, municipal, provincial authority having jurisdiction, um, you know, city building inspector. We take all of that into consideration when we're working. And obviously it's different, right? By province, you know, you know, from, you know, from Manitoba to Ontario, um, it's not all the same. Uh, so, so we, we know the codes within each one of the provinces and areas, cities, and um, uh, we will be able to assist you uh, with that. So on the service side, right, as I mentioned earlier, just, I mean, in a, in a nutshell, right, anything that we can, that we could sell, we can also service. Um, but as you can see, right, so it's, you know, from the electrical side, low voltage, you know, we've got the fire alarm, emergency lighting. Uh, we do the, the, the monitoring, as I mentioned. Uh, we've got the backflow preventers, which make certain that your fire sprinkler uh, system does not, um, does not back, back feed into the municipal water supplies, right? So those are backflow preventers. Um, sprinkler systems, as I mentioned, uh, we've got the fire extinguishers and uh, kitchen hood systems. I mentioned fire alarms, right, for, for monitoring. Uh, we monitor security as well, right? So um, it could be video, video monitoring, uh, just a standalone, you know, fire alarm if a pull station is activated, right? And that's 24-7, 365 a year. Portable fire extinguishers, right? Those are those are everywhere in any public facility, right? We're able to, you know, maintain those uh, on, you know, on a uh, annual basis. Most of those are required. And then you could see, you know, we also do the five-year uh, testing for for maintenance, hydrostatic testing, and um, you know, and typically, right, even after twelve years, right? I mean, it's, you know. Um, depending on the size of the extinguisher, a lot of times, right, it's just, you know, it gets to be cheaper just to replace that and put in a new unit. Safety, right? Safety is a big thing, right? So, you know, we're, we're in, we're in your facilities maintaining your life safety systems, but at the same time, you know, uh, Johnson Controls is, um, uh, is very aware that, you know, we want to take, make certain that our employees take ownership, right, of of their, their own safety, right? And making certain that, uh, um, you know, they're accountable for, you know, for everything from ladder safety to if they're, if they're working on scaffolding, checking a, you know, one of the, uh, the, the, you know, the lasers for an atrium that, you know, that, that they conduct themselves and, and they're thinking about safety all the time, right? So you can see the, you know, the pre-job checklist that they have, uh, you know, safety audits, things of that nature. And, you know, this just goes, you know, interactive training. I mean, so, so our employees are, you know, they're have to do these mandatory sessions, right, of training so that, you know, we want to keep it in the first and foremost into their minds. And, you know, the bottom line is, right, we don't want to ever, you know, we don't want to miss, miss a day because of a work-related accident. And you could see, here is our, our, uh, our rating for safety. And just, you know, last, lastly, I uh, just wanted to, you know, just to briefly throw up on, you know, on the screen, this is our, um, our contract that, that we use with, uh, with Canoe for, you know, for everything that I talked about today. You can see it, it's valid until um, April of uh, 2025. And, all proposals, pricing um, will be provided by the local branch office. So if you have any 
um, you know, any questions, um, you know, all of all of the solutions types of things will be, you know, provided will be provided locally. And, you know, just any quotes that you receive, we need to just make certain that they reference, uh, obviously, the, the, the contract number. And, um, and I'll also provide, you know, my information if you have any questions from a contractual perspective. Um, and there, there will be additional contact personnel that'll be uh, published um, for, uh, you know, heading the program up in, in uh, Canada. Uh, Audie Machaldo is one of the individuals that, that you'll be working with. Okay, that's, that's it for the slides, Jeff. So I think we All can right. take some questions. Yeah, I'll, uh, thanks. I had no idea the company was 141 years old, I guess. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's interesting because the name is Johnson Controls, but you're not just controls, you're like full solutions. So the turnkey, uh, these turnkey solutions, very interesting to, uh, to know that. So a um, couple of questions that have come in. Um, so um, I guess on slide nine, you showed a number of uh, branches throughout Ontario, okay. um, several in the south, but uh, what about the north? Are they serviced through Winnipeg's branch or how do you, uh, how do you handle that? Yeah, so that would be serviced through, through Winnipeg, right? So we have, we have employees that, that uh, technicians that reside uh, in various parts of the province, right? Uh, and they would be assigned to the northern section, for instance, right? So it's not like they would have to wait for a technician to, to respond from Winnipeg. Okay. Okay. So they're, they're in the communities they, uh, they work in. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, you touched on supply chain. Uh, what has your experience been uh, with supply chain issues uh, throughout the past couple of years, yeah, we've we've done um, we've done I think a, a pretty pretty good job with um, you know because obviously a lot of our products are solid state they require chips to be able to operate. Um, we've done I think a great job with with um, entering into agreements to make certain that you know that our our supply is is there uh, to meet the demand. Um, we, we have had issues where, you know, product has taken, uh, you know, a few months, uh, but it's only on select products. And within those, you know, that would be something that the sales representative would very easily be able to identify and let the customer know up front. Um, and possibly provide alternative uh, alternative solutions. Products. That's correct. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Um, so I guess uh, one of the pressing questions here is how do our listeners take advantage of this contract? Who would they contact? Yourself? Yeah, so what, what I will do is on this, on this um, uh, if I can go, I'm going to end the slideshow team. Okay, so I would think that it's going to be... If you, if you scroll down, you there is a on in the main window there there is a search bar and you can type in johnson and it will pull up uh everything related to your contract and it also includes links to the uh contracts with sourcewell so so on that page thanks for bringing that up tom uh you can see as well for our listeners there is a contact there, Simon McLinden, and he's uh, the overall canoe program in Ontario. He would be our main contact for that. So um, if our listeners do have questions about canoe, they're welcome to reach out to Simon and, uh, and he, can, uh, he can help guide you through the process. If you have specific questions on, uh, on Johnson Controls, Tom's uh, yeah. contact is in there and we will update yep. it with, uh, with others, so. Yes. Okay, um, I don't see any other questions. Um, 
So I guess uh, we'll wrap this webinar up. Okay. Um, thank you, Tom, very much for the thank informative uh, really webinar. It. It's, uh, it's great to see uh, that you have pretty much everything covered with uh, facility security and safety. So yeah. Um, in terms of uh, what's coming up for, for our webinar series, we do have a legal and procurement update coming on April 20th, and we'd encourage those uh, listening to attend. Um, that webinar will focus on trade agreements and group purchasing and, uh, and how they work hand in hand and the latest updates to those trade agreements that when we go out for uh, for these kind of contracts, we have to make sure we're abiding by them. Uh, um, and so you can learn more about how we do that in that webinar. Um, so in terms of signing up for that, go to our website, look for the events page and uh, it'll be listed there. Also keep an eye on your emails. Uh, if you've attended these webinars in the past, we send out to uh, to past attendees. So with that being said, Tom, thank you once right. again. Uh, it's great meeting you and uh, having Appreciate you participate it. in this series. And uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Bye. Take care.